Many children are living in Victorian conditions. It's an inequality time bomb. Um, and it was published in The Guardian the 9th of April 2015 uh, by the journalist Francis Ryan. Um, the paper is a left-centered one and it also um, makes a point of view when, when you uh, think about who the receiver is. Um, so it's the left-centered people, primarily, um, and it's the Br British population um, and also the well-educated part of them, um, because the the article is made of um, very long sentences and uh, there's also a lot of aberration in it. Um, and uh, this article is an informing one. Uh, there's a lot of facts and uh, there's also used a lot of ethos in it um, and there's often there's this coupling between ethos and and logos um, when she uh, names the the union uh, N A S U W Y T um, and then she talks about what they have found out, which is this fact. Um, so th that's the coupling between those two. And then um, through the whole article she uses a lot of pathos um, when she talks about these ch children, which often would appeal to people's feelings, especially um, parents. But uh, one of them is when she she uh, has this child who is describing that her mom doesn't have always have the money for her lunch and then she um, then her friends share with her so she gets some um, some food from their lunch package um, even though she she can't give them anything back so this is also um, a, a pathos reverence because um, it's not yeah uh, so um, yeah that's primarily it um, but but in the whole article I used a lot of pathos and um, also a, a bit of bit of logos and a bit of ethos she uses both of them all of them <laughs> that's three um, and then um, the, the language is very natural. Uh, natural. It's there's not used any vowel loaded words, um, which make it uh, objective. Um, and and that's also uh, some way to make the the reader take up this debate about the child poverty in England and what to do about it and so on. Um, and um, yeah, um, the, the competition of the, the article is like, uh, there's, there's this introduction when you hear about what it's about and what the unions found out and, and um, yeah, uh, and and then there comes all of these claims and argumentations, um, which he is there's there's a lot of them, and it's, it's not one primarily. There's a lot, but it's all about the same. It's about these children, and then there's this claim, and um, but but even though there's some kind of claim that she doesn't close it. It's always an open question at the end in some kind of way. And also um, the conclusion is, is well there's conclusion in some way, but um, but it's end of this rhetorical questions. Uh, it is 2015 and children in this country are going to school hungry as they sit in class in dirty uniforms, where exactly do we expect them to be in 2025? So this 
this is the end um, of it, and this is a rhetorical question, which which again appeals to this debate, and there's gonna be this debate in the reader, um, because there would be this wondering, and then you will always think about it. So um, maybe it would start a debate in the society. So yeah. I think this article was made to make up a debate between people. Yeah. And to the politicians. So.